Welcome again. Right now we are starting the book of Colossians, Paul's letter to the saints in Colossae. We're reading from chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. Paul opens with thanksgiving and prayer. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, having heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have toward all the saints, because of the hope which is laid up for you in the heavens, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the good news, the gospel, which has come to you, even as it is in all the world, and is bearing fruit and growing, and it does in you also, since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth, even as you learned of Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant, who is a faithful servant of Christ on your behalf, who also declared to us your love in the Spirit. For this cause, we also, since the day we heard this, don't cease praying and making requests for you, that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, that you may walk worthily, that's a good one, that you may walk worthily of the Lord, to please him in all respects, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthening with all power according to the might of his glory, for all endurance and perseverance with joy, giving thanks to the Father who made us fit to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who delivered us out of the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of the Son of His love, in whom we have our redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. Seek God while He may be found, and if you seek Him with all your heart, you will find Him. Call upon Him and He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.